So I've seen a number of papers where people write about clinical trial simulation, and I think they get it all wrong, actually. They want to create a simulation plan before you start. And it makes no sense. Because what always happens when you start to compare these different designs and you show, here's what you do with the different starting designs, you compare them, is immediately somebody says, oh, I don't like this and I don't like that. And you introduce a new design that you didn't start with. And that's really, really good. Clinicians, the team, the regulatory people, the design team you're working with start to see the outcomes of the trial and they think, oh, I want the design to do that. I would never want it to do that under that scenario. And that's productive. That's part of in silico design. You can't pre-plan that. You don't even want to pre-plan that. This ability to iterate the design and go through it is critically important to getting to a better design. And that's the goal of the clinical trial simulation process is getting the best design possible.